All right, ladies and gents. This is the beginning of Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3, specifically. Um, <clears throat> obviously. Now, this is early. Um, I did go out and get the Japanese version. So, um, if you are looking to read item descriptions and things like that, it's unfortunate, but I can't either. <laughs> Unless I go look them up. Um, or decide to use uh, Google Translate on my phone. So, we are going to go ahead and play through um, Dark Souls 3. And hopefully I'll be able to show off as much as humanly possible um, in terms of in-game stuff and things like that. While also playing through the game. Um, it's a completely different class because I, just to get information, I played through this once on my own on a Japanese profile with this copy of the game just to get a feel for the game and let me tell you as soon as we get in you will understand why everyone's ranting and raving that this feels like Dark Souls 1 it's because it does now I'm gonna shut up because this is a cutscene yes indeed it is called Lothric where the transitory land All right, guys. Well, there is our starting cutscene. Um, I absolutely adore that cutscene. Um, uh, it's almost on par with how much I enjoy the uh, the uh, opening cutscene to Dark Souls One. Um, although Dark Souls Two did have a pretty good one. Um, I didn't like the meta thing that had, was all going on, but um, 
beside that, I actually really did enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, we're actually going to go with male because one of my other characters is female. Mm, let's go with middle-aged. So yeah, I'm kind of zipping through these, but um, basically, uh, I, I know these uh, at a glance. I can tell you basically what this stuff is. <clears throat> so this is uh, the knight, obviously. Um, this is the hunter, I think, or mercenary. Uh, bandit or maybe this is the hunter. I think this is more of a warrior. That's what I think it's called, this warrior. Um, this, I th oh, I think this is a herald. It's like kind of like a cross between a knight and a cleric, um, which we'll see at the bottom. The cleric is um funny. This is the thief or hunter kind of class, nimble, small. Uh, this is your kind of quality all around build with a higher patching into decks, as you can see. Um, I'll explain what all the stats mean beforehand but if you if you're a souls vet you can kind of see them from the symbols and extrapolate what they are a lot of this stuff is going to be extrapolation or like a, a very rough version of my own translation um this is more um i believe this is also if i'm not mistaken he has a catalyst as well yeah because he has uh hush i think is a starting spell um so he is like the base catalyst with hush so it quiets your footsteps makes you you know more nimble or not more nimble just quieter um, easier to sneak up on guys. And of course, this is your sorcerer. Um, lower starting level, but much better, much more into dex int. Um, it, it, he is quite lucky as well. Um, I don't, maybe that's the highest luck? No, Hunter has the highest luck. Um, and then of course you've got your pyromancer. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's after sorcerer. You got your pyromancer, and then you have, uh, your cleric which i love that thing um i don't know what that thing is but it's adorable and it it's a great little shell thing i don't know I, I i think it looks really really silly but to each his own um my other character looks i i've made him look absolutely amazing so and then of course deprived naked man cave dweller is back um plank shield club no clothes as is intended <clears throat> honestly I think I think I want to start as a pyromancer because I have literally no experience with pyromancy in this game so um, I'm probably gonna spec into kind of doing a quality trying to get the two quality stats so strength and dex up as well as doing int and faith int and faith are obviously going to be coming as a secondary um because int and faith already start pretty high so i'll spec into um strength and dex first just to be able to use some more uh weapons because i would like to show everyone some other weapons different weapons um and then this this is all you like your starting gift so life ring ups your your HP, that's nothing. So you can start, you can just start with nothing, which I like. Um, life Ring, uh, Divine Blessing, Ashen Blessing, I believe is what that says. Um, it does exactly the same thing that a Divine Blessing does, only it refills your entire stock of uh, focus. So the Blue Mana Bar, more or less, because I believe it's called the Focus Bar, or Focus Points, or something of the sort. Uh, Black Fire Bombs, a Flame Gem? I believe um so that is to infuse a weapon of any kind boss i don't know if boss you can infuse boss weapons i don't think so um but it is to infuse fire into them now there is fire and chaos there are the different ones which i'll get into much much later <clears throat> um, and then there is uh, a soul consumable i don't know what it's called it's, it's probably the lost soul of an undead or something of that sort um rusted coins uh, cracked red eye orbs, and then a, I think that's a white branch, a white birch branch, and I believe what that does is turns enemies hostile to invaders, I could be wrong, I'm not exactly sure, I've never actually used one, so I, I would have to physically use one to see what it does, 
and kind of observe what it does at the same time. Um, but we're actually going to go with something that I didn't do the first time, which is going to be... Hmm... We're going to go with Honestly I got the most utility out of the rusted coins surprisingly enough <clears throat> but we'll go with the fire gem just so we can, if I do ha if I do want the option to upgrade upgrade something into fire, I can. Um, as far as face stuff goes, I am n nowhere near like Mister Create Your Own Face. Um, these are obviously uh, where your character is from. I can't tell you what any of these say or where any of them are, but this is the vague look of them. That kind of looks like a squinty-eyed version of the Hulk with that weird yellowish face. I don't know why that reminds me of the Hulk, but it does. It's more abomination than the Hulk, but... And he just looks sad. And that, I don't I don't know where the hell he comes from. Uh, we're gonna, we'll, we'll go with this guy. And then this is customization overall. Like I said, I am not... Oh, these are builds. Okay. I didn't really touch this, so... Um, and just so everybody knows, um, most builds are just for your, like, pure pleasure. Most outfits in the game are built for, built around that body type in mind. The very first starting body type in mind. Um, so, just to let everybody know, I I've always felt that's how Souls games do it. That's our voice. The old one. No, yeah, I'm not going to mess with a lot of that stuff because, one, I can't read it. Two, I, it's not really my forte anyway. Um, so, oh, and we need a name. Um, didn't actually think about this. Name, name. Name, name, name. Hmm. Well, he's a pyromancer. Hmm. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to name this guy. You know what, just for irony's sake, he's going to be named Bobby. Because um, I do enjoy my X-Men, and uh, I find it ironic naming a character after Iceman that is a pyromancer. It's slightly enjoyable to me. <laughs> I usually find it very funny. <laughs> Bobby, use fireball. But that's my goofy ass. That's me. So we awaken from our very snug looking coffin. I don't know. Our dude looks kind of poofy, if I do say so myself. So let's just go over uh, what we've got. We've got the, obviously the bandit, or the, the hand axe to start with. 
Um, we have this little shielded can parry. Um, see, there you go. Um, use a little bit of stamina, and then we have obviously the pyromancer's um, hand glove. It's a hand. Um, and then you have the the pyromancy set, or the pyromancer starting set, whatever you'd like to call it. And then this particular ring boosts pyromancy, so our pyromancy is going to be just a little bit more effective if we. Well, let me, I'll, I can actually demonstrate. So. 114. Not bad. Killed that guy in one slot, one fireball. Now, same kind of enemy. Does 137. So it's actually a pretty decent damage upgrade. And there's our Ashen Estus. So you have two different uh, Estus flasks in uh, Dark Souls 2. It is uh, Ashen and then regular. So you have Ashen Estus, which is obviously to refill the focus bar. Um, and then regular Estus is to refill your health. And we are going to go ahead and demonstrate something that I adore in these games. Backstab! Backstab! Oh, and then something very interesting that I found out um, a ways ago was that the Pyromancy Glove is super loud. There we go. Um, the Pyromancy Glove or Fist actually comes with its own version of combustion, like built in. The the weapon art is actually combustion. So I thought that was really, really cool, and I'm going to actually use that, because I, I, there is a bonfire very close, and I want to get this instead. Or no, well, not instead. I just want to get this in general, um, because this will. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be pertinent to our build. I don't actually know what the hell I'm going to do with this build, other than just specking a pyromancy and try and find as many of them as I can, because I know there's a ton of them in this game. I wonder how much damage this does. Not that much. Not enough. Not in my opinion. Hack you to death, crystal. So, yeah, if you're wondering what the hell is that thing, this, uh, I can, from all, for all intents and purposes, uh, this is, a uh, Mama Lizard, and we've been just murdering her children, his and her children, through this, the entire series of games, starting from Demon Souls up until, uh, Dark Souls 2. So, yeah, I can assume they're going to try and get their revenge, but i it's very obviously not working. And not going to work. Wow, that does a ton of damage. I wonder if uh, this axe has crushing damage. There's something interesting to find out. Wow, that hurt a lot. Woo! Run away. And there is... I believe that is... A Titan or Crystal Titanite. Um, I believe that's uh, replacing Demon Titanite. Um, it could be Demon, like Demon Crystal Titanite. I'm not sure um, exactly because again, I I can't read anything, and I honestly haven't gone through the translation of every item myself. Um, I've gone through rough translations of stuff that I'm really dying to know what it means. Oh, and there is something over here that probably shouldn't miss. Everything in this first little area you should probably try and collect. I thought there was something over here. Oh, just some souls. But yeah, this this uh, little playthrough um, thing will be as... Up until the point we get there, it will be as spoiler-free as possible. Um, and honestly, I can't... Other than like watching the game itself, I cannot really spoil anything in terms of story. Because I've got what my speculation is based on, but I have nothing as far as, like, story. Like, I can extrapolate some things from the bosses you fight and the areas you go to and the looks of some of the areas, but I, I cannot begin to kind of grab at the story of this game. Not in, like, all honesty. So there is a little upgrade... There is a Titanite Shard right there. Go ahead and click out. There's a dude right here. And I am going to go back, don't worry, because there is other stuff in this area. Ooh, we got a little soul. 
Alright, yeah, so we're gonna go down there, but there is, because there is something down there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out first. And these guys can get real frustrating real fast. Especially if you let, well, anything in these games, it can get real frustrating really quick when you let it bunch up on you. Um, that's just how Souls games work. If you start running through an area and you sort of know the area, but kind of still don't, and you let enemies, even if you're, you're level, you know, like, 9 or 10, and your, you know, enemies in the area are supposed to be good for you at the time, you are, you might just want to hang up the towel, and I think I might, ooh, firebombs, and that item fell off cliff with that guy so it was probably just another little soul fragment no biggie we're gonna go back up to the bonfire real quick and then we'll make our run into the very very obvious um large room to get a very important item all right so now we're gonna run into the boss room itself Because it's, I mean, I could tell you and just kind of feign that it's not a boss room, but come on. Come on now. Does this not look like a boss room to you? Like, some some rooms actually deceived me a little bit. Like, I, I was uh, kind of deceived by it not being a boss room. Like, oh, I thought this is definitely going to be some kind of boss encounter. or And it wasn't. Or it, like, I didn't, I almost didn't expect it. Alright, so that's, it's not bad damage, especially not right at the start. And just so everybody knows, um, ooh, that hurt. You can actually parry him, oh, that was bad. You can actually parry, um, this boss, which is, I believe his name is Udex Grundir. Um, I-U-D-E-X, uh, G-R-U-N-D-Y-R. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm sure if anybody's really keeping up with this game, you've seen uh, some kind of guide um, that shows you the name of this boss or read the trophies that you get when you beat bosses. So yeah, this part of the fight is what kind of throws everybody for a loop. We might pull this one out. Yeah, barely, but we did it. <clears throat> good fight, dude. Good fight. Man. Yeah, there's the trophy. There's actually a trophy when you first sit up at the bonfire, but um, I did a character to... Yeah, and we embraced the flame. Um, and that item we picked up is called the Coiled Sword. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that there, uh, there's a trophy when you first enkindle and sit at a bonfire. But I did already do that. Um, I did a test, test character on my, my American, you know, just regular profile of, of PlayStation, and it popped a trophy, and I didn't mean it. So, just full disclosure. I just wanted to mention that while I was, while I could, so... All right, and we will explore the rest of Firelink in the next episode. But this, glorious friends, is Fire our our Firelink shrine for Dark Souls Three. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. All right. 
Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. All right, so this is leveling up. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. This leveling up, we'll do this in the, again in the next part. Um, Farewell, I've made the flames guide. Sorry, I, I will. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords. To Lothric. We so yeah. Basically, we make this first, this Firelink bonfire. Bam. So we will start up in the next episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is going to be our playthrough of Dark Souls 3. I am so excited to keep going with this, guys. Alright. Bye-bye.